Got it. Welcome to week 10. And this is Wednesday. Today is a public speaking day. And what I'm going to do is, uh, oh my goodness, the girl that uh, <laughs> grimaces most will be first to enjoy the labors of your, of your travail, of your, uh, of your work. But uh, we have public speaking. Um, Cadet Johnson, you're running the show. Okay, so uh, Cadet Overton will be the first one up here. The idea is you must come up and uh, say, i tell you what, what we'll do. We want random people to pick topics for you. So all of you guys think of a topic. It can't be so esoteric that it's not realistic. How about something related to school? Tell us about your favorite teacher in all your years of school. Tell about your worst teacher. Tell about the most embarrassed you've ever been in school. Tell about the dumbest thing your friend has ever done. And you must have a main point. And one, two, three points, and a conclusion. The dumbest thing I ever saw was my friends doing a senior prank, and they thought it was really, really great. And they went at night, and they went with four people, and they went and put popcorn all over my, my worst teacher's desk. And that was really, really fun until they were charged with breaking and entering and littering and truancy, and they spent three weeks in jail. And now they never got hired by anybody. So that's the conclusion. That's a true story. So uh, oh. that's a true story from when I grew up. So don't, you know, senior pranks can only, only get you in trouble. Uh, all right, so anyway, come on, all you guys think of some kind of something related to school that anybody can answer and tap dance and come up with three main points. You are the first one here. And then, oh, by the way, I'm taking each person out individually uh, to talk to you about your grades, because it's third quarter, I always talk to you about grades, and your goals, and see how you're doing. So, Cadet Overton, front and center. I'm demonstrating Johnson, you'll be doing this next, okay? Yes, sir. Shall I zoom in on her very closely, guys? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Well, it depends on whether you want to be zoomed in when uh, you come in real close. Yes, sir. Do we really have to tap dance? No, huh. no, it's, it's a tap <laughs> thing. All right, is that close enough for her? Oh, she is so happy about this, aren't you? And you make sure you speak right into here so we get all your words. You can write on the board. You can write on the board, okay? Uh, but the idea is to practice your public speaking. You, you got a cell phone or something to time with? Yes, sir. Okay, at three minutes. You raise your hand, in five minutes, you cut her off, gone. It's hard to get the three minutes. <laughs> Yesterday, we did this for the, well, a couple of days ago, mili uh, the military studies hybrid course, and they, they, did, they were hard, they were real confident until they came up here and started talking, and getting to three minutes is tough, okay? All right, and then at the end, give constructive criticism. Go around the room, everybody says, congratulations, we really appreciate you talking about the senior pranks, you did a great job, but, this is what I would improve. I'd make sure I wouldn't keep my hands back here and I'd go like this or whatever. You know, so give them some constructive criticism. You as a receiver need to receive it as an adult and say, well, thank you very much, Cadet Navarro, for giving me constructive criticism about my hair. Then I will certainly think about that the next time we do it. Okay? <laughs> all right. You all with me? You know the goal. This is all being videotaped. I'm going to put it up online so everybody can see how great, great with a G you're doing. Um, I need to see who is the first alphabetical in my fun class here. Bean. 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 All right. Well, we know the game here. All right. Bean. Bean. Let me, uh, Bean, Bean. Let me, uh, let me see here. All right. Bean, come on outside. And you guys keep going. Uh, yeah, you can sit right over here. And you're on. What am I talking about? All right. So you're going to talk about. Oh, your, your, so you're giving one suggestion. Right. Go around here. Everybody else, everybody else suggestions. So, worst school experience? Yes. Yeah, I, I agree with that. A or A, guys. A or A. All time. All time. One minute to think about it. All right, you'll time. And you'll start. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just stand, stand up think there about for it. a minute. Just stand up there for a minute. Just and then let him meditate on it, okay? Just <laughs> meditate on it. All right, yeah, one minute starting now. Can I just... You could try to just like tap dance while you say stuff, but. <laughs> um, oh, boy. 
You guys, let's talk amongst like, ourselves. Just make something so up. Not like a lot of pressure. <laughs> like wrestling an alligator? Sorry. That would be intense. Locked on her eyes. <laughs> Maybe one time you just like ripped one in class. <laughs> I've never done that though. I'm just a boy then a teacher. Walked in the teacher saying, hey, yes. Nope. <laughs> I seriously can't think of anything. I seriously have him somehow. How long does she have to think, Haslam? What? 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 Alright, what do we got for time? I can't uh, think of this Almost done. Almost? Alright. Five seconds. What did you say? Just think of a bad one. Yeah, what did I don't say? know. I All right, nothing's happened to you. No. Johnson, all the way Best right. high school experience. Whoa, we can't yeah. change from best to worst. Yeah. She's had a minute to think about it. I literally she had a perfect high school experience. It matter. All right. Overton, you have a choice. Do you want to do best or worst high school experience? I guess I'll do best. All right. <laughs> okay. Now you don't get a minute to think about it, though. Yeah. Oh my right gosh. Now. All right. Ready, Alex? I got it. Oh, okay. Ready? I got one. I got one. I'll do it. You got one? Yeah. Ready to start. Okay. okay. Um. Okay, so it was my freshman year, and I was on the uh, I was on the cheer team, and. Let's see, it was after a pep assembly, and me and my best friend, um, we went into the girls' locker room, and, you know, we were getting changed out and stuff, and, you know, putting our normal clothes on, all that stuff, and then, um, we decided that we didn't really want to go back to class. Oh. <laughs> so we called our mom, we called our parents, we were like, hey, we're not coming back to class, so... Just excuse us, because we didn't even have time to go back to our third hour class anyways, because we had to go get changed out and stuff. So, we got excused, but then we were still afraid we were going to get in trouble just by another teacher walking in there. So, <laughs> we, there was, you know, we were getting changed out, and all of a sudden, and it, nobody else was in there, it was just me and her. And, you know, we were sitting in there talking and stuff, and all of a sudden a teacher walks in there, and we got freaked out. We thought we were going to get in so much trouble, you know, being stupid little freshman girls. And <laughs> so this person walks in there. All I had to do was just go to the bathroom. And so we flipped out, and <laughs> we both hid underneath, like, the, you know those, like, cement, like, things yeah. you know you could sit on? Um, we hid underneath those. <laughs> <laughs> and got, like, <laughs> really dusty, dirty. And it was kind of gross, but yet fun at the same time. You guys would get in more trouble if they found you underneath those. <laughs> yeah. I know. What was we were supposed to do? We got scared. Get so we hid underneath those and waited for the person to get out. And I was like right by like where um, the bathroom stalls are in the girls' gym. And so I was afraid that the lady was going to like see my hands or see my face or whatever underneath like the thing. And so I freaked out and I snuck over to like the next like portion of lockers over, like further away from the stall so she couldn't see me. And I, I did it really, really quietly. So she didn't hear me or see us. And it was just really fun. <laughs> and scary at all the e same e time. E and E, I high school style. Huh? E &E, high Pretty much. <laughs> so let's go. Continue. I'm gonna start keep going. Three Tell us what you did. She didn't do anything. She just went to the bathroom. Tell us what you did afterwards. Yeah, how'd you get out of there? Oh, uh, we just waited till the, because uh, we both had first lunch. So we waited for the bell to ring, and then we went to lunch. What if she just, like, a teacher, like, since she thought no one was watching, just, like, got naked? It's like, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> how long were you in there? We were in there for a good, like, over time. Hour. All right, <laughs> okay. McGee, you're next. You're All right, front and center. <laughs> Let's get up there. It's nice. Anyone have a topic for McGee? Yes. Oh man, oh, favorite. Man. Uh, I favorite. I do. do. What? The what? most intimidating person you ever met. All right, everyone. Uh, yeah, your name. Oh man. I could have come up with something. Yeah, that would say like no, just in your life. It has so to do with school. Base. It doesn't have to. Colonel Fay! It had to do with school. 
Does anybody have any suggestions? I'm so serious. Oh. All right, how about worst teacher? And you can worst explain teacher? why. Worst teacher? Well, we can't really talk. Well, don't say you're the worst teacher. Well, <laughs> um, well, it gets pretty sad with my worst teacher, so. Let's hear it. All right, well. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> Do you want a minute to think about it? All right. Oh, I don't have to think about it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Make sure you write down your points. But before that, <clears throat> give some criticism to Overton. Oh, jeez. I would have said my friend's detail. name. No. You need to be more detailed. I thought you handled right. yourself up here very well. I think so. You did very stupid. Oh, I describe, you. What? I describe your favorite date. I applaud what? you. Describe my favorite date? Mm. Yeah. Well, that's not really school Tell related. About... But I don't really want to hear about <laughs> yeah, that. Right. That's, that's, school school that's not school appropriate. Why don't we just Tell stick us about it? Right. Yeah, we're going to do the bad teacher for Magoo. Yes. You ready? Ready, Magoo? Make sure you write it down, too. Wait, you ready? We're going to do bad teacher. Oh, bad teacher. Oh, okay. bad teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. Whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm going to start. Hello, class. My name is Ryan McGee. Hello, Ryan McGee. And I'm going to talk to you about my least favorite, my worst teacher I've ever, I've ever had in my life. And to start off with... That was good. Worst teacher was in fifth grade. And my other two points will be why she was my worst teacher. Now, you guys asked for it because it's going to get pretty sad. Um, her name was Mrs. Hooks. She was a larger woman. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was a straight A student up till fifth, fifth grade, and then I just stopped because of this teacher. <laughs> but uh, she was kind of intimidating, and she yelled at us all the freaking time. Like, she was a fifth grade teacher. I mean, she wasn't supposed to do this. And uh, my mom tried to. Um, switch me out, but for some reason they didn't let her. But uh, the main reason why she was my first and my worst teacher, um, first semester, um, it happened in the first semester, uh, my mom was having another baby and um, it was going to be a, another sister. But um, that weekend when she had her baby, uh, the baby didn't make it, and, um, you know, I didn't do my homework that weekend. And so, I told Mrs. Hoops why I didn't do my homework that weekend, and she started yelling at me, told me to get over it. And <laughs> that is the main reason why she was my worst teacher, and I don't know what her problem was, but, um, it's a pretty bad experience for me, so I just didn't do homework the rest of that year, and I almost failed fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was a pretty sad time, and um, that teacher was the worst teacher. She was mean. She always yelled at everyone, and I don't even know why she was a fifth grade teacher. <laughs> she was a teacher at all. <laughs> she was the worst, and. Um, Still to this day, sometimes I see her, like whenever I visit where I used to live, I see her and she tries to say hi to me. I, <laughs> I don't even know why she tries, but uh, that was my worst experience, worst teacher. Alright, stay up here for you. Give him some comments, I feedback. <laughs> I'm gonna hug you right now! I'm sorry, bro. This is on video, guys. I really liked it. your confidence. You said on quite a bit. That's the one thing I'm gonna say. And but you did. Oh, it was on the spot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Walensky. Well,
Front and Why center. Don't yeah, he said you're <laughs> after her. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What am I going to talk about? Favorite shoelace. Okay, Favorite shoelace? Yeah. To wear the shoe. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why that's the way they do it. You can't even, you can't even talk 30 shoes. seconds. Best? I don't know. Worst heartbreak. Oh, not so At school. Let me say, I was about to say something. If I was an assignment, you'd never be. A heart assessment I've never had. Alright. Wow, five paragraph essay on military balls. That was good. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. <laughs> Is that the best one? Just no, I think it's going to be something better. Right, well, I'm a little thinking time. <laughs> Why are you in ROTC? <laughs> what, are your, what are your plans for after high school? All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right. I'm gonna have to get like 30 seconds to think about this, though. Yeah, should you give me that one? Just write down your point. I have no idea. Yeah, what's going on? No, we're gonna pick one for you. You're gonna take one of the tubes. Actually, can you wear the mic? You suck. I think so. You ready, Alex? Yeah, I'm good. You're good, man. All right. So, after high school. Well, first I want to talk about during high school. During high school, I want to get at least a GPA of like 3.8 or higher. And after high school, I want to get to a four-year degree high or college. <laughs> and <laughs> obviously pass that, get a degree, and then go into the military afterwards. So I'll be in ROTC, not junior ROTC here. And then I'll go into the military, and I'll serve the military for either four or, I think, 20 years. And <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I haven't decided yet, guys. All right. What's that? 20 years is retired. Yeah, I know. Oh, back if duty. You can still be just You can be reserved. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do in the military yet, but it's going to have to do with my college degree, obviously. And, I mean, basically the military tells you what to do when you're in... ROTC. And then after I get out of the military, if I'm not, you know, retired by then, I'm going to do a steady career um, and some kind of leadership, maybe like teaching or something. But that's if, you know, I don't want money. No. Right. But uh, in order to do this, I'm going to either have to get, well, I'm going to have to get high grades throughout high school and then also throughout college. And I'm gonna have to pretty like train during ROTC because that's gonna be pretty intense. And then go into the military as an officer, obviously. And those are kind of my plans for high school. Yeah. Branch, you wanna join? I'm thinking about the Navy. Why? Why the Navy? Well my father was in the Navy. Careful. So your father was in the Navy? Yes. Wait. Careful, Conrad. Yeah. Marines are just part of the Navy. You can easily just switch. And that's why. Any other questions? Oh. What college are you thinking of going to? Alright. College I'm going to go to. <laughs> I'm thinking of GCU or NAU. <laughs> those, are, those are my two choices so far. Yeah. Why not ASU? It's huge, and the dropout rate is extreme. And I want a smaller classroom, more you know, focused. ASU is just not where I'm gonna go. <laughs> Anything else? Um, no, I think we're just this. Give me some feedback. Turn them off. You. Trying to get on my good side, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't boo him if he wants to go into the Navy, because he can easily switch over to the Navy. I was just like, oh. Haslam! No. Up front! Start with the Marines! Front and center, you No! Alright, topics for Haslam. Ooh, okay. Haslam, why are you such a. Walensky? What is your favorite subject? No, no, no. 
What was your favorite relationship with a girl? Worst oh. thing. No, 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 I have never dated. All right, right go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Worst thing you've ever seen at high school. Okay. Ooh, that, that's the worst. Like I'm not sure. Worst, just the most. I don't think I could come up with something. So horribly slurring <laughs> that you've <laughs> ever seen in high school. Oh, so you can ask me at school. Oh, you can ask me that. I'll do that. I'm sure you, I think I've got you. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it entries to anyone. That's pretty good. All right. Good. Let's, take a, let's take a little vote. Well, any more suggestions before the vote? How much do you bitch? No, that's, <laughs> that's not a three minute conversation. No. All right. Where, would, where do you want to go play football? Be what? Where do you want to play football in college? I'm not going to play football. <laughs> Why? Where are you that's playing to go to college? Why? How are you going to pay for it? <laughs> that's a good that would actually be a good topic. And I can explain that pretty well. Why? All right, anyone has a better topic than Tom Joe? He plans to be a manual laborer and live there. Where he wants to go to college, how he's going to pay for it. 50 cents an hour. And why I want to go there. Right. All right, yeah, go ahead and do that one. All right, Alex, you're going to get a timey. Oh, yeah, men's match. Yeah, get in here real quick. Okay, and go. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about what college I want to go to, why, and how I'm going to pay for it. First of all, which college? I haven't completely decided, but this is the most likely choice. And be wrong. Second. Why I want to go there. My future career. I want to join the Air Force, so I'm hoping that going to Embry-Riddle will help me if I can get into the flight program, help give me some flight training, and it has plenty of aviation engineering courses, which is, well, not to have engin aviation engineering, but you need an engineering degree in order to get into the Air Force. And the third point, how am I going to pay for it? What kind of engineering are you going to do? I'd imagine aerospace. Yes. <laughs> I specifically want to be a pilot, so that would probably be one. So you're going to be an engineer and then go into pilot school? Once I get out of college. He's going to be like, I'm going to do aerospace and Yeah, I'm going to try and see. Is it? Once I get out of college, I'm going to be an engineer. All right. How am I going to pay for it? You can easily go. My dad works there, so as uh, since he works there, I get free tuition if I what did get, I get accepted into high school. And it works. So, any questions before we close? What type of bitch? Who's your dad in there? What? English professor. Do you still get that even if they're a custodian? I don't think they're a custodian. <laughs> no. Uh, I have to ask. Okay. Hmm. Any more questions? Two questions. Stephen. One. What do you want to fly? Oh, whatever the Air Force tells them to. Ah, that one. F two. <laughs> I knew the second you started putting the F one. Actually, down. the correct the correct answer would be whatever the Air Force tells me to. <laughs> Technically, but I don't know. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 How's one? Tell us how you're gonna get accepted into Embry Riddle. I'm gonna have to get good grades and be awesome with the after school club stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in any clubs? Not at the moment. I'm just trying to get you into my club. Why don't you try to get you into math club? I'm kind of thinking, fun. I'm, I'm thinking, a math club. I'm doing the math club. Okay. Never been. Uh, Any more questions? No, you're good. Remember on the fan? Why do you have a hospital? What? The bracelet. Oh my god. Like with the hand. That's not a question for this discussion. Alright, give him a round of hands. <laughs> no! Give him some feedback. <laughs> what? Feedback yeah, from Haslam? Um, I have. Uh, for one thing, you kind of look down 
a lot. You moved out of the screen, too. <laughs> yeah. I, I adjusted. <laughs> I should have saw that. And then, maybe yeah, if you spoke just a smidge louder. Okay. All right, good job. Bean. <laughs> what is Bean going to talk about, guys? Bean. What's your favorite? <laughs> My favorite shoelace, so I kind of fit No. A traumatic experience. He will talk about beans. <laughs> Anything that has to do with high school? <laughs> traumatic um, experience. Yes, your, best, your most your traumatic favorite. experience with jelly beans. I don't like jelly beans. Who takes these drugs? Yes. Oh. Cold corn. What is the weirdest oh. thing that's ever come out of your nose? <laughs> 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 Alright, but what am I going to talk about? What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you at school? Or just oh, that's a good one. Alright, sure. Alright. Oh, wait, Haslam, what's yours? What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, at school? No, that's also oh, worm. Alright, we're, we're going to go with Wol Wolinski's, okay? Alright. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'll start. try the black one. Don't use the green marker anymore, guys. It's just a little bit. So the weirdest thing I have ever eaten at school is a worm. And why is because it sh shortly after it rained one day in uh, middle school, one of my friends picked up a worm and said, if you eat this, I will give you all the money in my pocket. <laughs> I decided, why not? And so I took it and I just ate it. <laughs> oh, wait, did you chew it or did you just swallow it? No, I, I swallowed it. Oh. Did you feel it wriggling like, when it went down your throat? No, but I did almost have a yeah. <laughs> And then a win was, I think it was in sixth grade or seventh grade. I'm not sure when. Did you hesitate? That's, that's older than I would have no. Did you just like go for it? I'm just like, how much money do you have in your pocket? And he's like, like seven bucks. And then I just took it and I swallowed it. Okay. No, I don't like that. So you can yeah. work for seven dollars. I, I wanted it to be like in third grade. Was it worth it? <laughs> hey, in yes. some countries, you would have had to pay real money to work. I was paid real money. India. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? You would have paid what? No, I mean, he would have He would have had to pay like 20 bucks to eat an actual work. All right, Connor Carroll? No, I wouldn't have. Okay, we're going to have And then, uh, anyways, yeah. the last one, even though I didn't write it, was would I do it again? <laughs> For more than seven dollars, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any stomach problems afterwards? No. And then I went to lunch and ate like I normally did. All right. Last question. Did you notice anything? Oh. <clears throat> what was the texture of the worm? <laughs> Slimy and a little wet. Oof. Uh, <laughs> Did you notice anything in uh, after a colony of worms, worms grew in my stomach? And climbed out my ears while I slept. So that's what happened to me. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's why you did you see it when you. No. <laughs> I did not check. Dang. <laughs> I would Do you think that when the colony like got out of your ears, it caused brain damage at all? <laughs> Well, the ear isn't really connected to the brain, it's connected to other cells, so I don't really think so. No? Cells right, make up your mind. No one's a problem. Including your brain. <laughs> You're not oh, I'm sorry, biology boy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Questions, questions guys? Questions? questions? Keep it down. Comments, concerns, no, no. after dinner minutes? No. Alright. Wait, wait, stay up here. Feedback. You suck. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Yeah, that was really good. Eat from the heart. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Johnson. Gotcha. Alright. Alright, Alex, I'll turn. Alright, do this. Okay. Alright. I'll be up now. I'll be up now.
Let's go. Cadet Knickerbocker. None of you have a suggestion because I have something to ask him. You're the worst thing you have ever seen in high school. Make it middle school. Middle school. Middle school. In school. In school. In general. Right. In your entire life. Guys, topic. Did you say the worst traumatic something? Same, same thing. All right, starting. Hey, listen up. Come on down. <laughs> I'll do the next two. But... All right. The time I saw a kid break his face. So in middle school, you know, who went to Mile High here? Yeah? You guys know that outside the seventh grade building between the library, there's those bars that there's one and then there's a higher one. Well, this kid, if you're looking at it like from this way, the bar goes here, and there's another bar here, and then across the way there's here, bar here, and bar here. There was this kid, I thought it would be a great idea to try to swing from this bar and swing across and try to grab on that bar. I was just walking out of the library when this happened, just, I turned to my right, and just as I saw, he swung from this bar, tried to grab onto here, missed, and slammed his face <laughs> against this lower bar on the opposite uh. side. Initially, I was like, oh my god. Like, this kid's dead. I just witnessed murder. This is, this is really bad. And so, really bad. So, after I saw that, I was in the seventh grade, so I was like, I should probably go get a teacher. So, is that it? Yeah. Finish up, finish up. Okay, I just want to go get a teacher. I got a teacher. The ambulance came. And, there, I mean, blood everywhere. There was blood <laughs> everywhere. And uh, it was just very bad. And I'm pretty sure he hasn't recovered since. It was brain damage and it was, it was very bad. Okay, I walk in here and all of a sudden we start talking about brain damage. <laughs> Boom, 10 Dismissed! Go to break